today I'm going to be doing the long overdue rip it or ship it, ship it or rip it tag created by Emma from Emma's Books. Why do I say Emma's Books? Emma Books. Emma Books. Get it right. It's been how long? How long? Ugh. Okay. Anyway, I'm doing her tag and she tagged me in it and I know pretty much everybody else that I'm friends with on booktube has done it because I'm behind. Um, so they might have tagged me in there too, but I know Emma did for sure. So basically what you do is you write a bunch of characters' names down and you can divide them up in like female or male into two different cups to draw out of. Um, I decided to just throw all the names into one jar because this is how uh, Cassie from Miss Sassy Cassie did it and I really liked it. It was kind of an LGBT version because you just don't know what you're gonna get. So that's what I'm doing today. Let's see what happens. <sighs> Name number one. I can get it open. Violet from Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Why did I even put that name in there? I don't even really like that book. Who is it? Gavriel from The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. I feel like I really don't want to ship them because I kind of love Gavriel and all his crazy and I don't really like Violet very much. She's kind of a really annoying character. So my personal like prejudice wants me to keep them apart. But realistically, like, Violet's love interest in this book is also kind of crazy and murderous. So, I mean, obviously she has a type. So I think that because of that, Gavriel would kind of be her type as much as it pains me to say it. So I think I'm going to have to ship it even though I kind of hate that I'm doing it. Round number two. Jacob from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And Theodore Finch from All the Bright Places. Yeah, no. No. I mean, I don't know. Oh, Theodore is just like really all over the place. But they both kind of like really believe in sort of these magical worlds. And that this world, there's got to be more beyond this world. But I kind of feel like... Jacob gets involved in a lot of really heavy adventures and suspense and there's always people after him and I really don't know that Theodore could emotionally keep up with that. So I think under regular circumstances, maybe. But I'm going to have to rip it because I just don't think that Theodore can handle it. I don't think he can knock it. Round number three. Alright, I have two. How perfect is that? Okay, okay. I'm like trying not to drop the jar. Voldemort from Harry Potter. God, who? I don't know. I have trouble seeing me shipping him with anyone. And Jack from Blue Bloods. No, just no. But then again, like, who are you honestly going to ship Voldemort with other than like maybe Bellatrix or some? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I can't do that to Jack. No. Oh ripping it ripping it there's a lot in here all right one kai from the lunar chronicles and jesse from volition no 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 kai is like he's got a whole he has a whole empire that's relying on him he needs emotionally stable people in his life. And Jesse is pretty much the um, most like emotionally unstable person. But more than that, more, sh more than his like kind of emotional instability is that he's completely unreliable. He's totally unreliable. And Kai does not need somebody that unreliable while he's trying to run an entire empire and keep it from being taken over by lunars. No. I'm going to rip that... That was just not as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. But it, three, no, 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 no. Jace from the Mortal Instruments. Emma, this one's for you, and I have a feeling you're going to hate it no matter, if I ship who, if I ship him with anybody, I have a feeling you're still going to hate me for it because it's not with you. And Mara Dyer. 
What? Oh. I mean, he and Noah are both kind of like cocky sons of bitches. And like, I kind of feel like Jace would be really good at putting Mara in her place when she starts getting too crazy. You know, and they both kill people, right? Yeah, I mean, they both kind of have weird issues. And for other reasons that I don't want to talk about because I don't want to spoil it for you. But as crazy, which is totally Mara's, like, thing, as crazy as it sounds, I think I'm going to ship it because I think in some strange way they can make it work. And I think that Jace is mostly sane enough that I think that he could keep her under control. And I think that there's enough similarities between Jace and Noah Shaw that I think that Jace might even be more stable than Noah, which might be exactly what Mara needs. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ship it. I'm sorry, Emma. Please don't kill me. Chris from Chris from the Lunar Chronicles with... Da, 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 I dropped one. Ha! Now I got two. Let's go with this one. Why can't I open it? Jacob Black. Oh. Okay. Um. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they could be good together. But I don't like it. I don't like it. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Even though I could see how it could work, it's not going to happen in my mind. I just, I won't do that to Cress. I'm not going to do that to Cress. Just, no. Okay. Here we have Edelyn. I can never say her name. Edelyn? 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 From The Air by Kiera Cass. Augustus Waters from The Vault and Our Stars. Honestly, I think that he would actually be really good for her because I feel like he has such a positive outlook on life when he's not focusing on oblivion. And she just takes things so seriously all the time. She takes herself really seriously. She takes everything really seriously all the time and I think that he would be a really good positive influence on her. I think he would be really good in getting her to lighten up and see that not everything is as like hardcore all the time as she wants to make it out to be. He doesn't pressure, you know, that it's not like he's very demanding and I think that he would be really good at giving her the room she needs with, while still kind of bringing her back down to earth. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to ship it. You know, I really thought that I was going to like want to like rip everyone that gets paired because they're from different books but you know this isn't bad this is a lot better than i thought it would be okay so we have hazel from the fault in our stars and we have queen Lavana. oh no no hazel like just won't take anybody's shit no she just won't and then like queen Lavana can't be honest about anything she just can't hazel's like completely straightforward and honest that just that would not work in a million billion years never never clary frey from the mortal instrument series and carswell thorn you know what selena don't kill me please don't kill me it's what you get when your best friends are in love with fictional characters but I'm going to ship it because I think she really does well with people that are very full of themselves. He's very full of himself and he's funny and I feel like even though he's like almost like a, oh god, Emma, do not kill me for, do not kill me for saying this, but I feel like Horswell is kind of a better version of Jace. Like I feel like he's got like Jace's good qualities on top of other good qualities and that would just be, you know, Claire's just attracted to that. So I'm going to ship it. Oh, I put a lot of names in here. Edward from Twilight and Harry Potter. Oh my god, do you realize what this means? This is Cedric Diggory and Harry Potter. Huh. But I really can't see them together. Like, I can't really think of any reasons why they would be bad together. But I just don't see it working. Like, I don't know. I feel like there'd be no spark. 
So I'm gonna rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Why did I do so many? Eddie and St. Clair from Anna and the French Kiss. And Gwen from Ruby Red. Who is the first? Who, oh, Eddie and. Yeah, I mean, I feel like. I feel like it could work. Not that it can come up with a billion reasons why, but it just feels right. So I'm gonna ship it. Four from Divergent. And Isabel Lightwood. I shipped this so hard. So hard. Like they're both total badasses that can kick your ass. Like just if he wasn't with Tris, I would be like be with Isabel. Yes. I shipped this so hard right now. I have Noah Shaw from The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. And Sam from The Diviners. No. That is just like so too much ego for one relationship. Bella from Twilight. And Ron Weasley. Uh-uh. So those were my rip it or ship it pair rings and honestly I thought that I really wasn't gonna want to hit like ship any of them but some of them just worked. I was really surprised like I feel like this challenge really got me out of my own head and really like got it pushed me to see if I really knew the characters for who they were not just how they fit into the puzzle of the book that they're in. So this is actually a really fun and interesting challenge. This went way differently than I thought it was going to. I am very pleased. Thank you, Emma. So I am going to tag people and I honestly don't remember who has done this tag. I really don't. I don't remember at all. So I'm just going to tag people. I'm going to tag all of my Bibliothon girls because I don't know if there's anybody that hasn't done it. So you guys are tagged again if you guys haven't done it and if you have, well then ignore this. Ignore this. Um, I'm going to tag Sam from Samantha's books, which I don't know if you did it either. I don't know if anybody did it because I feel like I'm the last one to do it. But I'll tag you anyway in case you haven't. I will tag... No, she did it. She did it. Noelle from Noelle Menegas. And I will tag... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm tagging Sam from Samantha's books and Noelle from Noelle Menegas because I just can't think of other people. So if you want to do this tag, go do this tag. Say that I tagged you. I will like tag you officially in the comments if you want. I don't, I don't know. All right, I will get more videos out soon and I'll talk to you guys later.